Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement having when a gentleman is trying to put his life back together so that he can get out of poverty, get out of the sidewalk living, and have a space to be out of the heat, out of the rain, out of the sleet, and out of the snow. He is really looking for work. He is doing his industry in order to produce that opportunity. However, we do have people that don't like others who want to go places, who want to become something, who want to do something to serve a community. And those people tend to gather together and derelict themselves all over the place. What I mean is that they'll learn little bits and pieces of technology in their free time. So that allows them to sit on their ass for hours at a time to collect coin and food and whatnot. But they use their free time as they walk around or walk away from their stuff they leave on a sidewalk. And they literally harm other people with cybercrime, identity theft, fraud, horrible gossip, and really soliciting cars. It is not a comfortable situation for people who are really in struggle, who are trying to get out of struggle, because people start to associate the good ones with the bad ones. And the bad ones are pretty bad, but they're really sly. They act like they're okay. But what they do is turn around and harm the good ones with their lies, inappropriateness, and theft, often to the point of molestation, which is not okay. We don't like that today. And that is truthful. You see, we have to allow the people who are trying to get out of struggle to get out of struggle with some kindness and help. But we also have to protect them from the liars, thieves, and inappropriate people that harm them every day on their computers, in their job hunts, and openly in their relationships down any given neighborhood block or business section, business sector, or whatnot. We also have a lot of women who are inappropriate in that impoverished mindset, who like to try to solicit men in a, inappropriately, who don't want to be anywhere near them. Most gentlemen who've slipped down into poverty out of cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud already have their sights set on someone, and it's usually not a quickie, it's usually not a fixer-upper, and it's usually not someone who does not regard the law.